Today I'm here to focus on different fatal errors we might receive while installing the printer software. So now let's start the process to understand how to fix this issue. First, we would start the installation process. So I have the installation wizard of my all-in-one 6400 on my desktop. So let's go ahead and click on install USB connected device. Another fatal error message. 
and it is giving me the path where the problem is. So what I'll do is, let me go to registry first. So I'll go to start and I'll type in registered. Alright, and here, okay, we have to go to HD current user and now we have to move to software. Let me go to software. Alright, here I need to move down to Hewlett Packard. Let me go ahead and check for permission here. So I'll right click on it. I'll click on permission. That's why it's happening. Everyone has denied permission. So what I'll do here is remove the checks from deny and I'll click on apply and I'll hit OK. Now let me just go back to double check. I'll go to permissions. Fantastic. Everyone has full control. Let me click on OK. Alright, after changing the permission level, I've hit on escape on the keyboard on that particular error message and this error message came up. So what I'll do here, I'll hit on escape on the keyboard again. And we would have to start the installation process once more. Let me minimize the registered page. Okay, so now we would initialize the installation process again. So I'll hit on install USB component. It might ask us to restart. So let's check. Here it is. So it is asking us to restart the computer. So we would go ahead and restart the computer and we would come back with the second video. Bye bye. Welcome to Fatal Error Part 2. As you see, we have started the process of installing. And I'll click on next here. And I'll hit on easy install and now it is in the preparing phase alright the software installation has completed and now I have to click on finish now before I end this video let me just conclude by saying that fatal errors are more to do with permission level and a lot of times it does give you the path to pursue and check for permission once it is done we would have to start the installation process once again and I'm sure the installation would go fine I hope this was informative thank you and bye bye three things so there we go guys uh, that simple as that I hope you enjoyed the video and please do sub uh, subscribe to my channel for more uh, informative videos on uh, technicalities and many other stuff thank you